So this is the office of Siga Solar where you can buy your solar paneling that I'm featuring in the video. This is located across BTC and in line with BDO. So this is just around Vanilla Road here near Country Mall and Alicia Residences. So this is solar, Siga Solar by Panasonic. And this is the office. And these are the some of the projects that they've done. So this is the office hours. Um, this is Engineer Jordan Diparini from um, Siga Solar Marketing Philippines Incorporated. He, he will explain to us about the knit metering that is really a must if you're going to install the solar power system here in the Philippines. So, Engineer jo Diparini, can you explain where they can get the knit metering and then what is the advantage of the client for the knit metering? Okay. Um, we'll be asking the professional engineer to explain to us how the solar panel works. So, this system is called on grid. So, I'm showing you, I will be showing you the different um, packages that they do. So, I'm just showing you the sample of how is it installed in a house and what are the kilowatts for these 10 panels that you can see because a lot of you are requesting about solar, solar paneling here in the Philippines and the source. The source here in Cebu is Siga Solar by Panasonic. So here's our professional engineer to explain to you what is the function of a solar panel is. So uh, each panel, sir, how much is the power uh, will be generated? So uh, each panel, uh, it will generate a 290 watts. So 290 watts for each panel. Yes, ma'am. And then how long it will be, uh, how long should you put it on the sun? So uh, we, we just assume that it, was, uh, it, it, it will work. Um, five hours per day so it will not count the uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, assume it's an assume it's an assume per day and it's not uh, exceed or or exceeds or I mean exceeds and kulang so, so it will yes, not be lacking uh, yes, so you just assume that uh, it will produce 290 yes ma'am 490 Two, uh, two or two? 290 watts 290 watts per panel yes ma'am and it will work uh, it will it, uh, we will assume uh, five hours per day so that we can produce uh, energy in mm -hmm. which we can multiply it by the wattage times the hours equals the consumption or I mean the total energy of your solar panel or your solar system okay and so um what if during rainy season now there's no sun? Does this still function? Uh, it will function, but definitely it will not go on 100%. It will not produce uh, 290 watts, or I mean the efficiency is not 100%. I think it will just uh, produce uh, 80 watts or 100, something like that. Okay, so like this one is about 10 panels on this one so the total will be 2900 yes, watts so it should be open all the time to the sun or i like I, like you said if it's it is like cloudy there's no sun oh yes it will uh it is always mom it is always uh we need the sun to produce it more power so during cloudy or rainy season though it's not expected for them to have the full Ah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma it's not expected. Uh, it will produce, but at least, at least to power, it will not go on in 100% efficiency. So, like this one, we're looking at the 10 solar power. How, how long would it, will it will last? Um, what's your guarantee or warranty for this kind of system to last? Okay, our 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 panels, uh, Panasonic panels, uh, it has a lifespan of 40 and. 40 to a, tra a range 40 to 50 years 
and it has a uh, it has a warranty of 25 years. Okay, so oh, yes, 40 to 50 years and yes, gar your warranty is 25 years. Yes, ma'am. So your warranty includes replacing the yes, panels, replacing the panels, uh, technical problems and in, inside the the yeah. yes, this this one. Oh, yes, so you install this one you don't want any other people to install this product of yours you have to install it yourself the installation of this one will be conducted by your office or you can, or anyone that knows about solar paneling can install this one so it includes to the package we will install the installation is ours yes and the commissioning and all of the all of the works all of the works how about the maintenance Ah, uh, we have our uh, we have a maintenance warranty. We talk about a warranty. So, what are the warranties included in the package? So, in the panels, we have twenty five years warranty, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. and for the maintenance, we have a one year warranty. Uh, okay. Anything anything goes with the problem with the solars or the system, we will work for that. And for the inverters, uh, we have five years warranty and. We can, I mean, we can go on with a premium and add five years. So. so, what is the um, recommended maintenance for a solar panel in your, I um, mean, in your office? So, you will just check it, or uh, if it is dusty, you just wash it with the water and with some clothes a uh, soft clothes cloth uh, cloth I mean. uh, yes, so no, just water and cloth yes ma'am no detergent or no detergent, something like no detergent yes, so that's how you clean it do you also visit the like this house for any palo up maintenance or you just recommend them how, how to often you clean the system you, we just open ma'am we just open how to clean it uh, but so. overall ma'am you just you just need, don't need to make a maintenance of the solar panels because it will wash when it is rainy season like that okay so like we're looking at this 10 panel system how much is the price for this one so our system will cost 85,000 per uh, per kilowatt okay but depending on how long the wiring or the electrical wires goes to your house or the, about the installation or the area Mm -hmm. How much? E, how, how much is the distance? Or okay. Uh, yes, so, so eighty-five thousand pesos per kilowatts. Ah, so, yes, and that's um that's that's only for in installation or just for the for this the total cost, ma'am. Total cost oh, yes, package. The installation and all of all of the above. the uh -huh. panels and inverters. Okay. From your solar panels, you have a wire. Like this one that will connect to your electrical room or electrical system inside the house and from the inside we will be showing you how it works coming from the sol solar panels from the roof um, our engineer now to explain to you how it works after the solar panel to the wires coming inside the house and he will um, explain to you in details what's needed after George so from the wiring so from the panel so we have the DC wire or the direct current wire so in in which uh, the direct current will flow through that wire and then we'll go to this dev I, this device is called uh, inverter in which uh, an inverter will convert the DC current into an AC current. So since our, our unlike our households, our, our loads are, are required AC current, so we need this device, an inverter. So it is always required to have this inverter if you have solar paneling? Yes, ma'am. So after the inverter? So after the inverter, we have the surge protection. So this is the DC surge protection and uh, uh, DC circuit breaker. And this, this is the AC circuit breaker and AC surge protection so this surge protection protects the high current or the lightning lightning current will occur in the system so it will extinguish the current or the high current will occur in the system 
So after that, we will it will feed to your main panel or the panel of your house. So how can you um uh, use the electricity from the solar panels? Is it automatic? Yes, ma'am. It, it's it is automatic. If it is automatic, if we have a sunlight, it will directly go to your loads and mm -hmm. you can use it. So you don't need to adjust anything that you want to use the solar panel electricity or the which is the electric company electricity. Uh, there is no there is no need to adjust in in which uh, we have to apply net metering. Okay. Yeah. We have to apply net metering from your uh, distribution utility or this dis distribution company like here in Cebu it is a Beko company. Okay. Uh, so with this um, control system it will um, just directly use the solar electricity for your consumption yes ma'am so you don't need to adjust anything you yeah, adjust no yes ma'am exactly. okay so it will directly every day every day ma'am so yes. what if that um the solar panel what what they conducted like it because it's rainy days yes. it's not enough so how can you switch to uh our inverter will directly switch switch the current so okay, since we have we, uh, yes ma'am since we don't have a sunlight or a sun, so it, your consumption will be fed into the Beko. So Beko will produce. I will uh, supply you the current that you need every day. So when there's enough solar electricity, it will just convert itself. Yes. No. Automatic, basically. Automatic, George. Uh, yes. So it's all automatic with, with this converter. So you don't need to do anything. Wala din siya ibalhin balhin. Wala So okay. So if you have a solar system uh, installed to be installed in your house, so we need or we must uh, apply the net metering. So to your distribution utility, uh, for example, here in Cebu we have the Beko. So we need to uh, apply it to the Beko. And so what is the function of the net metering that they're gonna get from their electric supplier here in the city? Uh, so net metering will uh, calculate. Uh, we calculate your generated power uh, through a meter and then if you have an exceed power uh, the VECO will uh, calculate and they will buy it and subtract it to your bill so how will the VECO know that you are selling them the excess power that you have so they will know ma'am if you apply it if, if you will apply the net metering they will know and they were aware that you have a solar system so that's all and then that's why you have to apply it in your electric supplier about the net metering which is the responsibility of the client yes ma'am so is it uh difficult to apply for net metering so far ma'am if you have complete uh complete requirements of the back or you, it will easy ma'am easy it's easy, easy to do so easy. with net metering you do all the requirements like your electric plan of your house ah, yes, and then the office of the building official oh, yes. and then they will um so when you um sell back the power generated from your solar power panels um do beko they just deduct it with your um yes, bill ma yes ma they but just deduct it from yes, your bill they just deduct it but the price of the generated power is not the same with the price that you are consuming a power from them uh in big in beko uh, they they have a price of six six something like that around six. so lower oh, when lower. they buy it back oh, yes, okay lower. so you have to make sure that your solar solar panels will be generating more oh, yes, <laughs> no yes, so this is the example so we'll look at is that the uh, number two like if your bill is two thousand four hundred to two thousand seven hundred pesos a month so your system size will be one point seventy four and you need six panels. The price is hundred forty-seven thousand nine hundred. So that's including installation, commissioning, and supply. And then you can get your return of an investment within four years. And plus, they offer warranties on the different um, products like the PB panels, the inverter, workmanship, and mounting system. So tell me, your Sega Solar is coming from Panasonic Japan? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Our our product for panels or the solar panels is uh, from 
Japan. Yes, ma'am. Japan. Panasonic. Panasonic. Right. And so, what is the advantage, Engineer De Parini, if the client will not um, apply for a net metering with a electric company that they're um, supplying them for their electricity? Oh, yes, ma'am. So, if you don't want to apply the net metering, so your uh, power system, solar power system, will produce an electricity, and if it has a excess power it will go directly to the grid and it will calculate as your consumption oh uh, yes ma'am as your consumption because you don't have the, the special meter in which it will segregate yes, the what will is segregate the and it will calculate your excess power and also i in that case it will go it will your bill will go higher will go, will go higher, higher. So, because there's no segregation of the solar power generated yes, electricity, no. and that, yes. and so it's a must that a client before installing the solar panels should have a net metering from their local electrical supplier. Yes, ma'am. 